Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another video tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to install WordPress online so that everyone could visit your site from anywhere in the world. Um, that's re installing WordPress remotely. We are through with installing WordPress locally where we use local WP. Now we're going remote. So to install WordPress remotely you need a hosting service so there are several hosting services available you have qservers.net which is uh, a nigerian owned company and it spans african wide share there's also web web for africa and the rest there's better host but this is a cheap alternative if you don't have much to spend at the moment and you want to do a very simple site so qserver.net is actually a very good site here. Yeah. People uh, actually look at people using it, NTA, Beth Ninja, blah, blah, blah. So this is a good site. Um, you have hosting, uh, one of the best and um, relatively cheap um, hosting platform that you could use. It has fast speed and the rest. Yeah. So uh, when I say relati relatively cheap, I mean compared to other foreign web hosting service like you have HostGator, you have Bluehost, you have SiteGround, SiteGround, yeah, SiteGround.com. Yeah, so it is, here it is. So um, you could actually check all of them. There are different plans. We are going to go with Q servers for this particular. Um, tutorial but hostinga is my favorite amongst the other ones even though i use hostgator personally but hostinga is my favorite it gives you a cheaper price with one of the best services you could look for hostinga.com so if you want to go for their hosting you just go hosting then shared web hosting you might be tempted to choose the wordpress hosting but you don't need that just shared web hosting is good enough and then you could start yeah so you have single shared hosting you have premium shared hosting you have business shared hosting for the single shared hosting it's just one website and you could see this it has some limitation but it's cheap um, you have premium shared hosting you could host up to 100 website 100 gig ssd storage so and this so if you are just doing it for test purpose or just one single website, you don't plan expanding your the number of websites, you could start with this. But if you intend doing more websites as the time goes on, you should go for premium shared hosting or the business shared hosting. It's all about choice. Same thing with Osgator, you have different shared hosting, so you go for their shared hosting also. Blue also, so shared hosting. Sideground also, you have web hosting. So you get it. All you need to do is select the plan, go on to pay. Here also, I would go for BB plan. You see, single website, only unlimited website. Um, Blue host side ground. So start of side ground is a bit more expensive than the rest. So all um, you could see all of them. Whenever you want to host your website online. You could choose any of the any of the five and personally i would have chosen hosting if i wanted to so one thing you should note also when they say 1.39 us dollar per month it's just a way of catching your attention to the price if you go for four years straight they give you 1.39 dollars per month as a discount if you go for two years straight they give you 1.99 if you go for one year 2.99 per, per month so the longer you go the more you save same thing with hostgator and but let's just leave that we uh i just wanted to show you different options before we go for this option that i know many people would go when they're starting with so when should you use an expensive plan uh, Number one, if you are a web designer or you want to take it as a profession and you'll be building so many sites, 
you could go for an expensive plan that gives you a shared hosting plan that gives you access to many listen another one is you could go for a dedicated website server when you want to host an e-commerce site or something that you expect so many people coming in like jumia and the rest but if it's a simple website that just tells people about your business you should come for cheaper um, listen if you don't have the budget to go for something expensive so for qservers.net we are going to hosting web hosting allow it to load yeah so these are the different options you have startup plan that is seven thousand naira per year business plan developer plan so i'm going for the startup plan which yeah just the startup plan order today yeah so it shows you again i'm going for starter plan register a new domain so if you are just registering with these people and uh, it's your first time registering and hosting service with them one thing you should know is that they give you a free domain that's dot com dot ng dot net dot ng dot org dot ng so i could actually register a new free domain as dot org dot ng see learn wordpress dot org dot ng so continue yeah Congratulations, learnwordpress.org.ng is available. It's possible you choose a domain name that's not available because someone else have registered it prior to now. So you should just know that too. Uh, okay, scroll to the bottom, then continue. So how, how are we paying? Are we paying monthly? You see, if you pay monthly, you pay 700. So that means in a year, you end up paying around 9,000 something. So we're going for annually, which is 7,000 there. We're asking you advanced DNS manager. Yeah, you could choose this two, this one, this one particularly. This one, what it does is um, it helps prevent people from accessing your details online you know when you register a new domain name let's say campusmas.com your personal details will be attached to that domain name and anyone could access it anytime maybe your personal detail or your company details so if you go for advanced dns manager is it this one no no it's not even this one uh, this one might be able to do it, but what that one does is it helps you to prevent people from just easily accessing your name. Then this one is SSL um, certificate. It's more like a security sign. You see this sign here to show that your connection is secure. For some website, you will not see it too. That's what they're saying you should purchase. So you could actually purchase it or you could leave it. If you don't purchase it, you wouldn't have this sign and if it's a serious website i would advise you purchase it then continue but if you don't purchase it you could still get it another way a free way but it's more stressful. you continue yeah so dns manage and continue then it's going to ask you to put in input your details. We have iTech Consult email address. And I'm going to put yeah. Okay, so address we just put Abuja zone six. And we put um, FCT, we put 
fct abuja you just fill all these basic details here. Mm. 